Well, let's take a closer look at my personal tools that I use when I'm going out and doing a site survey. And you'll see there are a combination of different wireless adapters with software and, of course, access points. So we are preparing to do a layer one site survey at train signal. And so the first thing we want to do is we want to pull up our checklist and go through it and make sure that we have all the equipment that we need for our layer one site survey. And remember, this list is particularly focused on an indoor site survey, not an outdoor site survey. So there might be some additional things that you might need if you're going to be deploying outdoors. So one of the things I thought we'd do is take a look at some of the toys that I might want to take out with me. Now the most important one here for the Layer 1 site survey is the Cisco Spectrum Expert. So we're going to talk about that one. But before I do that, I just want to show you a couple of other things as well. Now this one here, this is my Y-Spy. Um, and it's by MetaGeeks and it comes with a piece of software called Channelizer. And the reason I like this is because one is a little less expensive than what you're seeing with the Cisco Spectrum Expert, but it's also very easy to use with almost any laptop because of the USB connection. And so here I can simply put that into my laptop. I've already loaded the software. And now you can start to see that I'm starting to capture data on the spectrum, which wireless lands, other interference sources. And here you can actually see I've got a list forming of some wireless lands. And I notice that one of them is actually wet, so we could actually break into that one because that's not very secure. So this, again, a uh, very nice tool. I use this one when I first go out on a site survey, just to kind of do a quick walkthrough of the building. Uh, it enables me to use a much smaller device, laptop, uh, sometimes a tablet, and I can just capture all the wireless LANs very quickly. I also use this if I'm out training or talking to people that don't have a wireless background because this is a little bit easier to explain as a tool. And then I can move on to the more sophisticated Cisco Spectrum Expert. Now the other toy that I've got here, and of course this is RF, and we like to play in RF, so I call these my toys. Um, this one here is a wireless LAN adapter, and this is the one that I use when I'm using the air magnet software. And so if I'm in preparing for a layer one site survey, then I'm going to be using the air magnet planning tool, planner tool. And that's what I'm going to use this for, and that will help me plan out where my access points might be. It gives me a predictive model. I can also use this then when I go back and do a layer two site survey. So let's take a look then at my Cisco tool. So my Cisco tool comes with hardware and software. And the two pieces of hardware it comes with is a card bus and an antenna. And um, the card bus, unless you have a very, very old laptop that has a PCM CIA card slot, is difficult to use. And therefore, you'll have to go and get an adapter. And what I chose to do was use a PCM CIA card, card bus to a mini PCM CIA card bus adapter. What that meant is I had to use a fairly old laptop, but not as old as I would have done if I had had to just use the card bus itself. And I was a little uncomfortable going from a card bus to a USB because I've had problems getting adapters to work. And this way I know that this will work because both of these formats are defined by the same standards body. So then what I do is I plug in my antenna here, very simply here, just plug that in. And here is an omni antenna. And so an omni antenna radiates out evenly like this. So if I'm going to use this for a layer one site survey, it's going to pick up signals from all around me, which is very good. If I want to have more of a directional antenna to find the sources of interference, then I can simply replace this with something like a Yagi antenna. And with a Yagi antenna, what that means is going to be directional, and so I'm going to do more of a sweep to find my sources of interference.
So let's just plug this in. And then we place our antenna up like this. Then I do my site, I can start my site survey. So basically, I then pick this up. And again, we're looking for a layer one site survey. So I'm looking for signals that are transmitting in the spectrum that I'm interested in, i.e. the 2.4 gigahertz band and potentially the 5 gigahertz band. And I literally walk around trying to find sources of interference. And as I get closer to the interference, I get a stronger signal. And as I move away from the source of interference, I'll get a weaker signal. And so this is a very straightforward tool to then start finding exactly what's out there in terms of my spectrum. So this is the tool that you want to make sure you're familiar with when you talk about the the course and getting certified. So this is the Cisco product piece of things. So that why we've got the tape running, I also want to cover a couple of other tools. And I may or may not take them on a layer one site survey with me, because I don't need them, strictly speaking, for a layer one. But there may be some reasons to do that. The first one, if I went back here to my air magnet tool here, Again, I may want to just sniff out and listen to the current access points that are going on. And I can use this tool to do that. And I can listen to some of the packets, etc. But the tool that I personally like to use when I'm going out and sniffing the network, and here at Train Signal, we're, when we do that site survey later on, we know that there's an existing network. And so we know there's existing wireless traffic going across. And the one I like to use is the AirPCAT tool. And the reason I like to use this tool is it works with Wireshark. And what I found is that people that have an IT background, so IT professionals on the networking side use Wireshark. And so using this tool becomes quite simple because the display and the filtering, the only difference is you're looking at 802.11 frames as opposed to TCP IP packets. But it's basically the same thing. I just plug it into the USB, install the software, bring up Wireshark, and I will immediately start to see 802.11 packets. So again, very useful when you're going out to a site that has an existing 802.11 network to see what traffic is going over it. So use that one. And again, I use the air magnet tool and a wireless adapter if I'm dealing with more of a wireless environment or wireless professionals. The last thing, and again, you don't need to take this on a layer one site survey, um, but sometimes you might want to take one. This is definitely what you need to take if you're doing a layer two site survey. Because a layer two site survey, you're going to place the access points. So you need to take the access points that you're actually going to deploy. And this one here is a Cisco, the 1140 series access point. So it's a dual mode 802.11n access point. And you see there's no external antenna. So this is an internal antenna access point. And it's ceiling mounted. So it just slots up on the ceiling like this. So it's really quite aesthetically appealing. In difficult environments, um, you would also want to take one with external antennas, just in case you run into something at the customer site that's like, oh, you know, not quite getting coverage. You need to use an external antenna. Always worthwhile taking not only your ones that you plan to deploy, but a couple that support an external antenna deployment as well. OK, so now we've had a look at all of my tools. Again, for this course, the main one you want to become familiar with is the Cisco Spectrum Expert. It's a great tool, really in-depth on the wireless side, really thoroughly looks across the spectrum band. So really become familiar with that tool. Very, very useful on your Layer 1 site survey. I hope you found this video and demo useful. Thank you.